ChatGPT vs Gemini 3 Today I'm forcing both AIs to make Roblox from scratch in 5 rounds of various difficulty. Okay, so we're going to start off with ChatGPT. I'm going to put it into thinking. And I'm going to give it this script. Okay, it thought for about 47 seconds, so let's copy and paste the code. It's only 321 lines. Okay, I have ChatGPT's version opened up. And it's really wonky. Yeah, I can't even tell if I'm moving. Oh, I am. Okay, let's just try and fix these mechanics. My was controls are inverted. Fix it. I move really weirdly. I should fall off the map and get eliminated. When I get eliminated, I should have an oof sound effect. Okay, it thought for 46 seconds and it gave us the code, but it told us to put a file named oof.mp3 next to the HTML file. So I just downloaded one from the internet, so let's hope it works. I replaced the code and it's about 400 lines long. Let's see if it works with the new sound effect. Um, yeah, I can't see when I'm moving. Let's try and fix that. My camera is bugged. When I move, I only look at my bald head. Fix it. The movement still looks weird. Okay, it should be fixed, so let's try it out. Okay, I have it open again. Yeah, I think I am moving. Looks like it for sure. Let's see if the sound effect works. <laughs> yeah, it works. Okay. The only thing I think it's missing is the camera lock, so let's try to add that. Add a camera lock when I hold it right click. Okay, now let's see if the right click works. Okay, yeah. Looks like it works. My camera's locked now. Okay, but my W and S are still inverted, so let's fix that. Okay, so all I had to remove was one line and it seems to be fixed. Now let's see how Gemini can do. Let's copy the same prompt, put Gemini into canvas, and paste it. Okay, so it gives the code. Let's see how it works. Okay, now I move super slow. Why am I in slow motion? And I can just walk off the terrain. Okay, let's give it this prompt and see if it fixes it. Yeah, the camera lock works. Let's see what happens when I die. I mean, it made its own sound without me having to download one. So in my opinion, I think ChatGPT takes this round. For the next round, we're going to have both AIs create a tycoon game. Let's give ChatGPT this prompt and see what it gives us. And the game's black. The game is black. Something isn't working. Here are some console log error messages. Apparently 3JS never loaded, so let's try it again. Okay, so yeah, the game works now. There is a tycoon dropper. I collect cash. Not bad. I mean, it's pretty basic, but now let's ask it to just add random upgrades. It works now. Add random upgrades. I can buy for cash. Add at least five. Okay, so it thought for about four minutes, but it took like 15 minutes to write the code. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay, I have the upgrades on the bottom left. I think I have to click them. Let's just wait until I have 60 cash. Let's see if the first upgrade works. Yeah, the ores do get pushed faster, but they spawn at the same rate. So is it really worth it? Now let's see if it drops ores faster. I think so, yeah. Let's see if each ore is worth more now. Yeah, they definitely are. See if the ores are bigger. Does it really do anything though? Is that even worth it? Okay, let's see if I get bonus cash now. Yeah, you get five more cash per ore. Yeah, the upgrades work. Now let's see how Gemini can do. Before we continue, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Let's copy and paste the same prompt into Gemini and see what happens. Okay, give us the code and the dropper seems to work. Many blocks fall off the conveyor belt. Let's ask it to fix that and let's also ask for upgrades now. Many blocks fall off the conveyor belt. Fix it. Also add random upgrades. I can purchase for cash. Make at least five upgrades. Okay, updated much faster. I can buy a lubricate belt. All right, buddy. See if the upgrades work. So the blocks roll faster. Oh, and the upgrades are reoccurring, so I can buy them multiple times. Let's see if we get more ore value. Yeah, that works. But also, the upgrades aren't just specific to the dropper. It also gives upgrades to me, which is pretty cool. Let's lubricate the belt again. Nice. Let's see if overclocking the dropper works. I guess they're spawning more frequently. Let's try it again. Okay, now I have enough, so let's buy it. And yeah, I'm pretty sure it works. Now let's see about for the running shoes. Okay, I bought the running shoes. And it seems like I walk faster for sure. Okay, now let's see if the moon boots work, so I'll buy it. For reference, I jumped to the bottom of the dropper. Let's buy it. Oh yeah, it definitely works. That's pretty cool. I don't know how that'd be useful though. The blocks still fall off sometimes, but it's better than before. I like how the upgrades are reoccurring, and I like how the upgrades aren't just specific to the dropper, so I think Gemini takes this round. Now for the next prompt, we're gonna have both AIs create an obby and see who makes it better. Let's put this prompt into ChatGPT and let's let it cook. Okay, I have ChatGPT open. 
the fuck is this obby? Yo, this sucks. What am I supposed to do? This is horrible. I don't even know what to ask it. Let's try to improve on this. Make an obby where I have to jump on Lux and get to a higher elevation. This obby is so short and it sucks. Make it better. Oh, well, it made something. Um, Don't know why it thought that long to make this. See if I respawn at the checkpoint. Okay, the checkpoint works. Okay, it, it's something. At least it's better than the first attempt. Okay, now let's see how Gemini can do. I'll just copy and paste the same prompt I gave ChatGPT and let's hope it works. Where's the obby? Yeah, I, I can't find the obby. Okay, let's try again. It's black, so let's try to fix the error. But at least it figured out something was wrong. It does look like there's an obby. Yeah, and it works. My person won't rotate anymore. That's the checkpoint. <laughs> Doesn't seem quite hard. Let's see if I respawn at the checkpoint. Nice. Okay, well, let's see if we can just make the obby longer. Make the obby longer. It's very short. Also, my person doesn't rotate fix it okay so the obby should be longer my character rotates again let's see if the obby is longer yeah let's try to complete this obby oh and i fell and i keep falling let's try to speed run it oh that doesn't work either i think i can cheese it Oh yeah, nice. Oh, and I have to jump on the blocks. Let me try it one more time. Yeah, and I made it. And I just die. I mean, there's not much to judge between ChatGPT and Gemini, but in my opinion, I just think Gemini takes the round. Now for the next round, we're gonna have both AIs implement an admin chat where we can put various prompts and have certain outcomes. Let's give this prompt to ChatGPT and see what it does. Okay, so I have ChatGPT's version open, and it said I can type in speed 100 and it'll change my walk speed. Let's try it out. Speed 100. Oh yeah, that works for sure. Let's see if fly works as well. And I can't really fly. I mean, gravity doesn't affect me, but I can't go up or down. Okay, let's see if fling works. I mean, yeah, seems to work. I have a cool idea. Let's see if both of them can also put in a nuke command. Make a nuke command. Be creative. All right, let's see what the nuke command does now. Nuke inbound. Oh. I mean, that's pretty lame. Let's put the same prompt to Gemini, but let's also ask it add a nuke command. Be creative. Okay, give us the code. I can't see the chat. Let's see if fly works. Yeah, fly works for sure. Can I turn it off? Yeah, I can turn it off by typing the same command. Let's see if fling works. Yeah, I think it flings me a bit too high and I died. Let's see if I can change my speed. Yeah, I don't think speed works. Oh no, it definitely works. Okay, now let's see if nuke works. Wow, did it delete everything? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I think the commands work better in Gemini's version. The flight worked better and the nuke was cooler, so I think Gemini takes this round. For the last round, we're gonna have both AIs make a tool system. And that tool will make them lunge, so let's see how it works. Okay, I have ChatGPT's open. I have the sword out. I click it. Oh. Yeah, when I hit, it just sends me backwards a bit. Yeah, it just sends me in the opposite direction that I'm facing. Pretty lame, pretty lame. Now let's see what Gemini can do with the same prompt. Okay, so Gemini wrote the code. Yeah, it lunges me every time I hit. My sword looks like a skewer though. It looks like I run a kebab shop. Interesting. So in my opinion, I think Gemini takes this round. The model of the sword is much cleaner. It lunges me further. Gemini won more rounds than ChatGPT did. So Gemini wins the challenge. Let me know down in the comments what video you'd like to see next.